Happy Monday, Believe Nation. Happy Monday. Hope you're doing well. I had uh, a couple minutes before I got to start my day. I woke up super early today for something. What is this? Oh, I got to sign some stuff. Hey, check it out. Hold on. Check it out. We got, we got books. We got books. We got books. We got books. It's happening. So excited. And uh, I'm signing some and then I'm also, also signing some stickers that people can put into their book. Uh, anyway, so I woke up at four something. Uh, I got a lot of work done. I'm tired, but uh, I had to... I had to go to the bathroom and then I couldn't get back to sleep. So anyway, might as well work. So I'm making my morning coffee and thought, hey, let's go live before before the chaos starts. Today's a not so day, but thought, hey, let's go live, see who I can help, and uh, spread some love on a on a Monday morning. So you have some questions? Pop it down below. See what I can do. Try to get some value. Cisco, hey, I need hey, I need a huge advice from you. Great. Pop your questions below. <laughs> Let's make it happen. Happy to help. Uh, Kay Alukar. Hey, welcome aboard. Appreciate you. Hey, Evan, good morning. Hey, hey, glow up with Jay. I love it. I love it. Uh, hi, how did you get started? How did I get started? Um, I guess it depends on what, like, started in what? Started on Instagram, started on YouTube, started as an entrepreneur. I think, I think the biggest thing was just so that I that I just started, right? I mean, I just don't worry so much about the how. I had a, so there's a woman yesterday who, who was messaged me about what YouTube uh, advice should she listen to? Just starting a YouTube channel. I wanna start a YouTube channel. Who should I listen to? And a bunch of people responded, said, listen to, listen to this person, listen to this person, or buy Evan's course. And I wrote back to just say, start. Like the best, if you want to start a YouTube channel, the best thing you can do is post a YouTube video. Because people get locked down into research mode, into planning, into just thinking, 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 and they never do anything. So there's nothing wrong with the research, but, but it's not an excuse for not doing. So how do you get started? You start. You start, and then you, you adjust. And yes, you model success. And yes, you learn from people who've done it before. And yes, you ask smart questions to people. But start. Start. Nothing can get in the way of you starting. Uh, go up with Jay. How did you how did you get prepared to speak in front of a large group of people, like thousands of them? Yeah, so, I mean, Puerto Rico came back. There was a couple thousand people in the room. Um, for me, I was, I was scared, right? I mean, I was, my biggest fear is disappointing people. And so I was, I was nervous backstage and my heart's pounding. And it's usually even worse uh, because when you're when you're backstage, all the speakers are there and you're all chatting with each other. But you know, ten to fifteen minutes before a speaker goes up, nobody's talking to them, right? It's like that's your time. The speaker is just nobody wants to throw off the speaker, and so it's all you know, chit chat and fun and vibes and everything until it's almost crunch time for that person, and then everybody just kind of leaves them alone. And so it's a very lonely, isolated. Uh, feeling and because I don't want to disappoint people in my head starts coming these noises of all these people came and I'm gonna I'm gonna forget you know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna deliver on stage I'm not gonna do a good job um, even though it's not true right I mean in that in that event we had there's like four thousand uh, no it's a couple thousand people it was a three-day event hold on let me turn off this Turn off the Roomba so it's not making all this crazy noise. Three day event. Um, I'm only speaking for an hour, but as if like my one hour is going to ruin the entire event if I don't deliver, right? But at least that's what's in my head, right? I want to. I want to perform. I want to do a good job. Um, so I was nervous. I was scared. Uh, I, f- I forgot how I was going to open up. And the thing that saves me was I just look at the audience and I remember this isn't for me, this is for them, right? Don't be selfish, I'm here to serve. I, haven't, I have knowledge I can help these people, right? So that's, that's what always calms me down. I go and look at the crowd, right? And so that one time, you know, I'm in Puerto Rico a couple months ago, I guess? No, not even. Um, I just peeked backstage 
uh, I was backstage and I pulled the curtains and I looked at the audience like, it's for them. I'm here for them. And so that's how it got out of my head and went off and did my thing. So at least for me, when you default to service, then it doesn't become about you anymore. It becomes about the people who you're trying to help, which is what you're trying to do as a speaker, right? If you're a speaker, you're trying to help other people. Um, so remember who you're trying to help. At least that, that always works for me. Uh, okay, let's see. Are you okay? I'm okay. I'm tired, but I'm okay. Uh, let's bring in uh, Moga. Let's see what Moga's got. Moga. Moga. Waiting for Moga. No? Didn't work? All right. Sorry, Moga. I'm not sure what happened. Um, okay, let's get to some more questions then. How do you solve procrastination? Procrastination is one of two things. Either you don't want to do the thing or you're afraid of doing the thing. So depending on what, what side you're on, so what are you procrastinating on? You don't want to do it. Yeah, option one, you don't want to do it. You don't want to do that thing. I, I, I don't want to go off and do that thing, right? It's not an expression of me. It doesn't make me excited. I don't want to do it, right? That, that's one side of procrastination. And the long-term answer for that is you can't do it. You have to move on. Like if you're every day waking up and you don't want to do something, you're like, that's not a recipe for success. You have to, you have to be chasing down things that you love doing. Um, short term, maybe you have to do it. Maybe you're, you know, studying for an exam tomorrow and you don't want to fail. Great. You go off and do it. I mean, the stuff that I end up doing every day that I don't want to do, but not long term, right? You find a way to get that off your plate. Uh, or the other one is you're afraid. Right? We procrastinate because we're afraid. Every, even even before doing this, like every time, uh, you know, again, my number one fear is disappointing people, letting people down. And so anytime I have the opportunity to do it, I hesitate for a little bit. So even before coming live here, you know, I hesitated for five minutes. And, you know, you do stupid stuff. You check your Instagram and you... Yeah, you know, look at your notifications and really it's just go off and do the thing because you're afraid to do the thing. So I don't know how many lives I've done, how many videos I've done, thousands, like 6,000 videos on my main channel. Uh, but every time, you know, tomorrow's my filming day, before I go and film, I'm going to be a little nervous before doing it. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to waste 10 minutes just checking stupid stuff and then realizing I'm procrastinating, let's go. The key is to not let that procrastination turn into, you know, it's five minutes or 10 minutes instead of hours or days or weeks or months or just never getting started. So first you have to identify, are you afraid of it or you just don't want to do it? And then the answer is always action, either away if you don't want to do it or, or through if you're just afraid of it. Okay, good luck. Uh, Summer, how do you push yourself to keep going when discouraged? 18-year-old 18 year entrepreneur. Um, you tie yourself more to your effort, not your results. It's one of the greatest things that you can learn. I wish I learned this earlier in my entrepreneurial journey. But even just as a human, when you tie yourself more to the results, then you're going to get frustrated. You're going to feel like a loser. You're going to feel like you're worthless, you're gonna feel like you wanna quit when, when it's not working out because you're tying your, your happiness to getting a certain result. Instead, you flip it to say, I'm tying myself work to the effort. Did you try your hardest? Did you try your hardest every day? Because if you try your hardest every day, I guarantee things are gonna work out and you'll feel a lot better about yourself, about where you're at, and you won't be as discouraged. So one of the things I recommend is, Every day, you score yourself out of 10. How proud are you of the effort you put in today to chase down your goals and your dreams? How proud of you? How proud are you of it? And if you're constantly getting a three or four or five, like you gotta, you got to work harder. You know you're capable of more. You know you could have done more. So go off and do it. Be proud of your effort every day. That's when everything changes. Uh, okay, let's see. We got a little bit of time. Let's let's bring in. Uh, oops, let's bring in Ulysses. Ulysses, Ulysses. Let's bring him in. Let's see what let's see what Ulysses has for us. Waiting on Ulysses. 
connecting to Ulysses. Here it comes. Ulysses in the house. Oh. Hey, I've oh. just been listening. I had to pick up my phone, man. What's up? All good, man. How you doing? Good. Great. How you doing? I'm great. Where are you, where are you calling from? I, I'm in Houston. I'm in Nassau Bay. I'm actually by the water. We can't see the water. Again. Nice, dude. Stuff. I like it. So what do you got? How can I help? Um, all right. So I actually put a question down here about a work exchange to see if I could help you in any way possible and you could possibly help us grow our brand. Um, you speak a lot about helping people just start on creating content and we pretty much built a brand around helping people get that process started, whether it be equipment or advice. Um, so if we could, you know, sell your course and I don't know, I don't know, I don't know however we could possibly help you or like me, myself and our brand. I don't know. I'm just asking because this is a platform to ask. No, no, I love it. So listen, that I love the intent. What what you want to do is for anybody who you're asking this of, you want to go off and try to find a way that you can help. Right. Because here's the thing, like, and, and this is this is what a lot of young people come and say, "Hey, I'll work for you for free. I'll 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 do anything you want. Like, I just want to be around. Or I want to help, or I want a testimonial or something." But in in Asking that question, you're creating more work for the person. Because you already right? probably have the plan. No, not, not necessarily, but like you're creating more in, in that question. Now I have to think of how you can help me, which creates more work for me. Understood. So what you should, and we could break, we could workshop it here while you're on the call. But if, the, if for anybody watching and for you, for, for future strategies, you want to digest the person's content have a sense of what they're doing and, and the kind of stuff they're putting out and how you can help. So if you said, hey, Evan, here's what I do. I've noticed that you've done X, Y, Z. Like if you help people, what do you help people do? You help people launch their social channels? What do, what do you do? So I myself build brands. Like I just help people build websites, brands, applications and whatnot. But we built this brand because that's what we do. We like we build joint ventures with whether it be investing or building a brand new brand or launching a product. That's, that's what we enjoy doing. So, so if, if you're if you're trying to help me, then you could say, "Hey, Evan, we build brands. You've done an okay job, but you know this part here sucks, man. <laughs> and and here's how to fix it." Yeah. Whether that's my website, whether that's my Instagram, whether whether you don't like my hoodies, like whatever. Right. And, and then you you show me something better. Right. I, I mean, yeah. it's it's pretty much as simple as that. There's a lot of people who will talk the game, but very few people actually do. So um, I had a guy reach out to say, hey, I can fix all your thumbnails. Like, OK, great. I've, I've tried tons of thumbnails, but I'm happy to test yours against mine. Yeah. And then he went off and he designed five thumbnails for some of my videos. And I'm going to test them and see. And, and if they work, I'll give them 6,000 videos to go off and do thumbnails against. Yeah. Right? So that's the thing is trying to figure out who, you know, who can you help? And, and maybe not, you can't help them with everything, but you, you find one small project and you say, hey, how you're doing this sucks. And here's how I would do it better. Right. So what uh, about my brand needs, what about my brand, in your opinion, sucks hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> and Ulysses is going to come in and fix it. Yeah, that's the deal. Um, man, I think you do an awesome job with your brand. I actually, I, I signed up for your emails just so I like to do this often. I'll sign up for people's email newsletters just to see what they do because it's how you learn. Like what, yep. how do you convert more people? Smart. You, you have YouTube plaques, you have all these awesome things going on. So, I mean, I feel like you're doing an awesome job. So, I I haven't looked at your website per se. So, like, maybe I could go look at your website and see how I could help you there. But do you have an app? Do you have a do you have an Evan Carmichael app? Well, here's the thing, right? Like, you should know. <laughs> right? right? Right, it's like, right. Evan, Evan, so here's the answer. I don't, right? But you should know. You should come on and say, Evan, dude, you're crushing it. You got your YouTube. You got your books. You got your speaking gig. You're hanging with all these people. But, dude, you don't have an app. Right. You need to have an app. And, and here's, here's some ideas on what it could look like, right? True story. 
you, you, you have to know this stuff. When, so, and not just for me, and I'm, I'm playing easy, right? But like yeah. for other people, when you're, when you're doing outreach like that, it's the same thing. You need to know where you can help them. And if you can't find anything, then, then that's okay. You can just be a supporter of their work. But you're trying, to find a, you're trying to find a thin wedge in to say, hey, man, you're crushing here. And always, always, be, uh, always be like filled with praise, right? Right. Because people have egos. Right, right. right. Already have friends, right. So, like, when I'm when I'm destroying somebody's YouTube channel, a lot of the guys who who I partnered with, um, I, you know, I'll look at their YouTube channel like, oh my god, these guys suck. But yeah. I'll always leave with, dude, you're an expert. Like, you know what you're doing. You, you've been doing this for 20 years. You know, people come and pay you, and and you know how to speak. I don't need to come and teach you how to speak. But your videos suck. Right. And and you're not crushing on YouTube like you should be, right? And so. Same kind of thing. You're you're giving praise, like, hey, I signed up for your newsletter. I'm a follower. I love how you do X, Y, Z, so that it shows that you actually are part of the community and you actually right, right. are paying attention a little bit. Uh, and then here's here's where you need some help, and here's what I can do, and 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 like have a have a quick mock up. Hear that? Uh, this this right. is awesome advice, man. This is like clear advice for not just not just you to pitch, but anybody else I reach out to. Yeah, yeah, for every and, and listen, your best results will be with people who you already kind of messed with. Yeah, yeah. As a consumer. Like what whoever's in your IG feed that you like to mess with, you like their content, right. those will be your best pitches more than just doing cold outreaches. Cuz it's no something that, there's something that attracts you to my brand. There's something True that you, you like the message whether it's believe or success or whatever it is. And the way I put it out, you're here for a reason. So we're already connected, even though like this might be our first time talking about this, like this in an IG live. Uh, so look at who else you're messing with already. Like how many people you're following on Instagram. Those people yeah. are potential partners and clients for you as well. For sure. Yeah. I will say that this is a, this is the second time that we, we've been on live together. The first time I was actually asking you about stock market content and about like how I should start it, and, and like, I, I actually didn't do that. I did something totally different. So <laughs> I started a podcast. <laughs> I've been consistent with it, but it's a it's it's like way more true to my brand, like just interviewing entrepreneurs and whatnot. So um, it made more way more sense than doing stock market content. So I'm here for it. And I, I appreciate the content that you put out. I just want to say that for sure. Cool, man. Well, that's part of the process, and and. You have your checklist. Like, what are the things you do? You do apps, you do websites, you do what? We do marketing. Uh, we do brand development from the ground up. So if it's logo design, um, the actual ad revenue, like spending money in ads and the planning that goes into it, all of the above. So if you're, if you're reaching out to people, uh, you, you basically go through your 10-point checklist and you see which of the 10 are they missing. Mm -hmm. If you're reaching up... So sort of like aspirational brands, people who have, who, they're beyond the startup stage. The people who you would love to work with who've already done right. it, they probably already have their logo. You know, they probably already have a bunch of the basic stuff done. That's why you look up to them. But they're right. still probably missing something. Like maybe their emails suck. Maybe their Facebook ads suck. Maybe they're, maybe they don't have an app. Carmichael, get in the game, right? True story. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so you, so you go through your list and then you say like this is what this is what I can help you with and here's an example of how it fits into your brand. Right? Yeah. So if you're gonna build me an app, you just like even the concept of pitch the app, what am I currently doing? Like what am I talking about right now? I'm talking about my book, I'm talking about my YouTube channels, right? right. How does how does an app help me do that? Right? Right. So that you're you're showcasing things, especially when somebody's in pitch mode and, and publicity mode on something. Right. If you give them another way to be able to promote their stuff, they're way more likely to be receptive. True story. Right? If you show me an app that's based around my first book, I'm automatically less interested than if you do it around my second book. That right? makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, if Built to Serve is on the cover of the app, and you want to build an app with, like, quotes, or I don't know what's going to be in it. It's automatically more interesting because I'm in that mode right now. So right. for for anybody who you're reaching out to, you can also then look at what are they currently marketing? What are they currently talking about? 
what's on their mind right now. Especially in the marketing world that you're living in because people have these phases, right? If you're going to Gary V, he's got, he had his shoes and then he's got his wine, but now he's super quiet on that stuff. He hasn't talked yeah. about that in a while. So don't come pitch an app about wine or shoes. He's moved on. He's talking about other stuff right now, right? Yeah. So anybody, anybody who's in, who's trying to promote something, it's like, what are they most, what do they most care about right now? Uh, what are they talking about right now? And then in your matrix of the 10 things you offer, how can you help fill the gap? For sure. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. That's fucking awesome advice, man. This is Monday. <laughs> this, is <awesome. laughs> this is Monday. It's how we do, man. Yeah. I appreciate this, man. This is a good word. I'm going to move forward this whole week on, on, on reaching out correctly, man. Uh, and, oh, man. Good you, luck. Don't, don't be surprised <laughs> if you get an app pitch. Make Make it happen, and, and and I hope you get better results than than the advice he gave you about stock market videos that then you never took. Hey, <laughs> I'm still probably not gonna make those. Man. All good, dude. All good. All right. well, I appreciate it, man. You love. Have a good one. Good luck, man. Much love. You the C's in the house. Anyway, awesome. That's how you do it, guys. That's how you do it. I think you confused the life out of him. No, man. No, no, no. That's exactly what he needed. That's exactly what he needed. He knows what he needs to do. He's got it. I actually went slower to break it down for, for everybody watching and on the replay, but he got, he got it. He got it in the first five minutes of that call. He got it. He knows what he's doing. He's going to make it happen. I'm, I'm pumped. Okay, let's get to a couple more. Let's get to a couple more text questions. Uh, what do we got? Why are we scared to be? Why are we scared? What? Why are we scared? Why are we scared to be what we're, I, I don't know what that is, but it's, it's, it's typically um, disappointing others, right? You're not afraid of failing. You're afraid of failing in front of other people. Evan, that was great. <laughs> What's the name of your podcast, Ulysses? Ulysses, you're picking up fans already. People want to know the name of your podcast. Get it in here. Get it in here. Alex Sand is in the house. Okay, what else do we got? Can you speak Thai? Wow. Zero. Do you have, can you speak Thai, Nina? You got anything? A single, like, a single word? Nothing? Alex? No, I'm sorry. Wow, Alex looks dead tired. Dude, wow. I woke up at 4 o'clock. I want to, I look like, Jesus. This is a lot I won't, this, this, I won't show you guys Alex. You, you might, it might break your phone. <laughs> All right. How do you know when, how do you know when you're doing the right thing? Um, well, <clears throat> One, you won't like you won't you won't know with 100 percent certainty but pay more attention to the feeling like does it make you feel good does it make you feel alive does it make you feel happy right paying attention to the feelings around things um gives you a much better shot at winning than just paying attention to the logic of what your brain is telling you to do say hi to alex all right Aww. jarg soma see look at look at that face that's a happy face. That's a that's a dead tired face. Jar Soma. Wait, what happened to you, Jar So Jar Soma Jar Somoga? I tried to bring you in, but it wasn't working. Anyway. Okay, hold on. How do I how do I there we go? Oh from Tajikistan. Nice. Uh, there's no you didn't get any slips or anything saying that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. How do I get funding to start branching out with my business? Uh, so it depends, depends on what your depends on what, um, depends on what kind of business you're in, depends on what kind of financing you're looking for. Uh, so you start off by looking at debt or equity, right? So debt, easy spot to get a quick yes is the banks. Just depends on how good your credit rating is and your history. Um, you know, with debt, you have to pay back, uh, you know, your interest principal every month but they're not taking a piece of your company. So it's more expensive in the short term, but, but way cheaper in the long term. Uh, equity, you find typically an angel investor, depends on the kind of business you have, but typically an angel investor, they give you money, they take a piece of your company. You wanna find somebody who's in your area, uh, you know, somebody local. Angels don't like to have to, usually it's like four hour drive window. If nobody's gonna invest, from across the country. So somebody who is close to you, four hours distance, and has experience in the area, 
you want smart money, not dumb money, not just money from a, uh, they call it dentists or doctors with disposable income, DDIs. Uh, you don't want that. You want somebody who's going to actually give you guidance, give you support, give you connections who understands your business. Um, and pick your, if you're going to go out the equity web, pick your partner really carefully because uh, it's like getting married. You're, you're going to be stuck with this person. So make sure it's somebody that you want to spend the rest of your business life with. Uh, guys, I got to run. Thank you for the love. Appreciate you. We'll do it again. Uh, tonight, maybe I'll do IG Live, but it's definitely going Twitch, 6.30 Eastern, if you want to join in. Otherwise, we'll do IG Live tomorrow. Appreciate you. Happy Monday. Continue to believe, and I'll see you soon.